My name is Tembela Kazi. I'm in East London, uh, in the Republic of South Africa, working for the South Air General's Office. Um, the office is, is, is responsible for the demarcation of land for registration purposes in the DIS office. Uh, it's one of those that I inherited from our past. So that's what we do. I'm trained as a land surveyor. Uh, so we basically are mandated to look at surveys of land within the Republic. The course was useful for me, it wasn't broadens my perspective, because in my field, we're very narrow in approach. We look at uh, land rights as in surveyed and demarcated land rights registered in a DIS office, whereas land rights are much broader than that. Uh, you've got customary rights, which are in their nature quite secure in certain instances, but they're not necessarily having the same kind of legal protection as the other rights. So the main thing that I've learned is that, you know, customary rights are just as secure and needs to be more secured in terms of the law. But in addition, in the course, we also, the other part that I enjoyed the most was the issue of natural resource management and the influence of extractive industry on the land rights of residents. Uh, within the broader African context. I think that was very important for me. I would recommend uh, mostly with the people that are working on land reform at the moment in South Africa, and, and as well as you know, key decision makers like your ministers, your DGs, DDGs, so that they can broaden their perspective and actually appreciate the real land issues because at the moment we've just scratched the surface in terms of land reform. We have not looked properly at the underlying issues, the rights of people on land, the right of them to be able to produce food on the land and their relations with the land, because that's the key thing as well, that how we as Africans relate to the land is not necessarily what your neoliberal perspective actually wants us to believe. So, we, so our, our, our practitioners on land rights, our politicians, our key officials in, in the department have got to understand what the key issues are that affect the people on land rights.